didn't see naked Wait, people that running around you chucking spears and going back to their huts to hump their ladies. Everyone there, even the cities were very you modern. Dark, they had different spots. The super modern cities, oh, the cultural stupid. modern cities, the ancient cultural areas, the safari areas, the poor areas, the rich areas that have the folks that finesse the economy. The the on one can cook in South Africa. How in the world are you supposed to get cooked in South Africa if nine out of ten you can actually look like one of them? Them probably because he don't he don't um, technically do the um culture or the thing they do in Africa, but besides that. Let's see how the barn is getting cooked in South Africa. Y'all, I really want to know how the barn is getting cooked in South Africa. I really want to know like how you get cooked in South Africa. I'm going to Africa. I really want to know. Not your usual DTO type of content, but I always got something up my sleeve. I've been doing this for way too long. Don't think I, I just I, I, do animations. I'm tired. My lips chap. My hairline still receding. <laughs> Going to another continent two and a half yeah. weeks ago was scary. I ain't gonna count. me. I went to South Africa. Now let's be honest. If you've been in captivity, I mean America, all your life, had a stereotypical perspective of it based off of one cent a day can save this child's mm -hmm. life. African commercial, African booty scratcher jokes. I, I, They've been brainwashed I, I, I. to think that they haven't advanced past Tinky's huts and despair. You probably think everybody look like this too. Well, cut the crap, cause I'm here to tell you from experience, that's cap. I used to think Africa, I don't wanna go to no Africa. It's probably gonna be a zoo in my backyard or something. Have, like, like, yeah, Africa got the rare monkey and stuff like that, and animal and stuff, but Africa is not just for animal and you being a zoo, and not like that. But, you can't, you can't lie, I do, I do wanna see, like, one day I would want to go to Africa and see like all the culture and the and different type of animal and what they eat too. Cause I, I don't mind like like eating what they eat. Like give me some cool place to visit like what Japan is the DR? Or the DR. Until I went there. I ain't gonna waste no time. I'm gonna tell y'all a I don't little know bit what of what I experienced is. and learned. Japan, I do want to go there really the bad. Time. IRL vlog one version day. of this trip on my second channel. Link in the description in my channel mm -hmm. page. Okay, first off, coming into South Africa, Wait, I didn't see naked people Wait, that were you dark? chucking spears and going back to their huts to hump their ladies. Everyone there, even the cities were very you modern. Dark, they had man. different spots. The super modern cities, the oh, cultural modern stupid. cities, the ancient cultural areas, the safari areas, the poor areas, is the rich areas that have the folks that finesse the economy the suburbs almost endless plots of land with mountains mm -hmm. almost everywhere mm -hmm. a bunch of different cultures languages and tribes the vacation spots were also really nice too i recommend durban or cape town now my biggest headache living there for almost three weeks was the constant power shutoffs the second i turn on the wi-fi boom the minute i turn on too many lights bam the millisecond i turn on the washer that's when I found out that houses there needed one of three things to combat that. Solar panels, an inverter, or a backup generator. I'd recommend just yeah. getting all three. Yeah, I, these I, people over here getting finessed like a man. The, the, power be, the, the solar panel will be the only thing you need. The backup generator or the big thing that the barn say, I don't know if you really need that. But the solar panel, you definitely, definitely going to need that if you go to Africa goes off there's water but no lights no wi-fi no ceiling fan no ac no oven no shirt no shoes no service? they really make you resort you back no to service? primal survival heck i was walking through the mall that week and the power randomly shut off what? in the mall in the mall besides that the food was busted uh -huh. the drinks were okay except Except for the great tigers and hazelnut lattes. Come down below so and tell me, good. like, what Make type of drink is it? Grandma, is the there? air is clean, like, the clouds are real, the land is rich. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if you were digging and found some gold off rip. The pigeons were more masculine than the modern man. Nah, for real. And like, y'all forgot something. Y'all forgot, y'all forgot that, that little subscribe button and that notification. And, and turn, turn that, once you hit that subscribe button, turn that notification to all. And never forget that. May have been in South Africa, but them pigeons was from New York. 
I ain't smell not one ounce of fear in them, bro. Like, where they Tim's at? <laughs> you say yeah, one yeah, wrong thing and that. they might pull out a shank. The roads wasn't nothing like the states. They were opposite. And so were the driver's side seats in the car, which at first had me confused. I'm hold, so used to the hold, right. Show, show you tell me that you that on the road, right? I me mean, me show you. I this is a rule, right? I this is a rule, right? Like this is a rule. I I I so if you're going this way, this way, right? You're literally going this way, and you're going this way, you're going this way. So literally, if 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 you're going to try to go home, you go on the left side, and then the right side where you go. And then they got the steering wheel on the left side, and then and then the passenger on the right. I don't know. It it confuses me. That if I drove in South Africa, there might not be none of me le left. You better have insurance, John Turkey. Freak. So the I can't point, stress this enough. As you if you drive, go to a restaurant, you, make sure you tip no the waiter ten percent, or wow. it'll be offensive. If you don't got it, I understand. But if you do, go ahead, give up the goods, my boy. Especially if they know that's the norm over there, because a good portion of the waiters aren't mm. freaking millionaires or even highly paid workers, for that matter. They struggling almost sure. as much as the hobos. So how, Off how rip, you wouldn't even know because that waiter is strong uniform makes them look the like hobo? regular middle class people. You're wrong. Sure, you Same thing get, for the workers in other buy. professions. You still Just be struggling? mindful. Straight up. You don't know what people are going through in their daily lives. Don't play with wow. these people's money, and they won't play with you. Don't believe me? I had an associate of mine get choked out that same week because her car declined in an Uber. So you have been warned. <laughs> Speaking of Ubers, Ubers there are everywhere. Uber everywhere. We take out. We know not pay. Yeah, all right, all right. <clears throat> Anywho, if you order an Uber, they'll be there in less than like two or three minutes, bro. Especially in Santin and Johannesburg. And a lot of them actually really have nice cars that are cheap. Well, <clears throat> for me, of course. I'm talking about so the they got cars nice cars that the sports actually cars are cheap. cheap also, to afford? Crazy. That actually good to afford in your budget? Wow. I don't know about the inside, though. The neighborhoods are mm -hmm. actually safe. <clears throat> a lot of their neighborhoods. There's electric fences over the walls and the gates. And they got fences that'll impale you if you try to jump over it. Yeah, freak around and end up like Neji if you want to. The residents there think America is this dreamland until mm -hmm. Americans like me school them on how it ain't all peaches and cream. It's more like gravy, turd, and hot sauce mixed together. Especially if you're of I the still sun kissed get how, how you guys Speaking of residents, if you get looked at funny because of whatever, don't pay it no mind. They gonna think what they think about foreign and I if still you're too know nice, get, get tough, because they will. And I do mean will try to hustle you if you don't know how things work over there, especially if you're a foreigner with money. I ain't saying you don't got to help them out, but be careful is all I'm saying. Some people actually need food, and some people just want money for some African-American diaspora culture from the swag, the looks the music, the lingo, etc. In the slums Why? of South Africa cities, I don't recommend going there because it's rough. Like, rougher than the South African suburbs, which are still struggling classes mixed mm. in. I seen a little kid in the slums on the corner looking like a depressed father with eight kids, a $50,000 tax bill, $700,000 mortgage loan, and a nagging masculine Dang. wife with three more baby mamas. Oh, Man, that really okay. broke my heart, y'all. Like, it's one Dang. thing seeing it through the stereotypical commercial, I, 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 but I seeing it in South person Africa was a like whole that. nother level of of agony. I was in Soweto and saw a line of kids mm -hmm. coming from school having to walk through all the chaos and smoke in the city just to get home. Just to find out some of them were the cause of the smoke. And I gotta give some of these people Stop it. Credit. Get some help. Some of these people they credit. Instead of selling that booger sugar, the poor people out there were hustling to get that money and food. I was bombarded by folks trying to do anything for my money. Putting on street shows, this, this, a little bit of gas. Like anything for Selling money. products they this made. Anything even anything trying to money. charge me for me <laughs> filming with my you, own. You tell me that South African people would do anything for money. So they really would do anything, anything that they can do. They will do it as long as you pay them. As long as you pay them, they'll do anything for you. As long as you pay them. I didn't, I didn't expect that. And then you got then you got people, you got little kids on the street like this, struggling, single father with no kids, and struggling to get by like, ooh, I I, I ain't know, I ain't know, I ain't know I'm South Africa would like that. A few moments later. Oh, in the way! Hey, yo! 
Ain't no way. Ain't no way you can do this song. Ain't no way they know it's on my cell phone. I had to give him some type of bread for that performance. Now, if you were yeah, an American, you got pop to. bottles. Because the USD currency is way more valuable than their currency, which is rands. Mm -hmm. I need y'all to understand this. One USD is currently worth 18 rands. So, for every US dollar you add, it's like adding 18 rands each time. So, let's say you have 5 USD. Multiply 5 times 18 and you get 90 rands. You just multiply the dollars. value of the dollar times the amount of dollars you have you added 18 five times the reverse will be you taking 90 rands and dividing it by 18 and getting five an easy way to remember the currency differences between south africa and the states is america to south africa multiplication south africa to america division remember that the popo and the security are way more calmer and nicer unlike the states where they could put a strap in your face and get away with it but i'd be more scared of the security because they be more strapped than the officers bro i saw security at the south african mall she told me the security AK more, more, across more chest protected in the direction in the of the butts. <laughs> ah, yep ak or not Men gonna be men. <laughs> Overall, my experience was life changing. I plan on moving there permanently soon. And no, it ain't cause of the two and a half weeks I spent there. I already made plans to move there. So don't think. <laughs> the point is, you sure about that? Son of a <laughs> like, subscribe. If you wanna see more of the memory lane, uh, the Vontae, the one.